Hey you doll faces, it's Annie again. Today I am here to do a requested look of the Urban Bride from Urban Decay um, using drugstore products. So I did the best I could. I hope you like it. This was requested by Hello Kitty 84 and if you'd like to see how to get this look, keep watching. Okay, first I'm going to prime my face with um, Makeup Forever HD Primer. I think if you were a bride, you would definitely want to prime your face. I don't have any primers from a drugstore, so this will have to do today. Okay. Then I'm going to take my Garnier Rollerball, go right underneath the eyes. That side always gets me. Don't tell me I'm running out. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite drugstore foundation. Well, one of them. The Rimmel Stay Matte. I love this foundation. I'm just going to, I just squeezed out some on my hand. Rub my fingers together. Dot, 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 dot. And then I'm going to take a Sigma, this is the F82 round top kabuki, it's like broken, not happy about that. Next I'm taking my Maybelline Mineral Power Concealer, I'm going to go over my spots and under eye. It's always redness around the nose. Just pat it in. I'm going to set all that with my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder and a puff. flat top we would do just to buff it all in. Okay, next you have to prime the lids. And I have to use primer potion, sorry. I don't have a drugstore eyelid primer. Okay, now for the eyes. So what I'm going to start, so here's the look. It's a pretty um, dark crease, some glitter. This will be fun. Okay, I'm starting with um, this Maybelline Expert Wear Shadow in Earthy Taupe. It's a very close dupe to Urban Decay Naked. So I'm going to put that all over the lid because I want my colors that I put in the crease to be able to blend out. And it's just very close to my skin tone, so it's providing a nice base, covering veins and all that fun stuff. Don't you love being a girl? So I'm going to be going back and forth between um, Silent Treatment Trio and Sweetest Candy, which they're very similar. 
but not the same. So the first color I'm going to take <clears throat> is right here, the brow bone color, it's just the white. And I'm taking that on a flat shader brush and I'm going to go right in the inner third pretty much. here and just to kind of brighten up the inner corner. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to wipe off the brush a little bit. <clears throat> then I'm going in with this crease color, which I love. It's this kind of silvery taupe. Beautiful. I'm going to do the rest of the lid with that and just pack it on. color here. This one's back at in the Sweetest Candy trio. And I'm taking a 224. I'm going to do the crease. And just keep packing it on. I'm keeping it pretty high here. I'm not really blending it down. Okay, so then she has kind of a really deep, like, crease color coming in here. And I was going to use one of the ones from, I was going to use this one. But it's pulling a little bit too warm, so I don't want that. So I'm going into my um, Maybelline Stylish Smoke Squad which is um, in natural smoke. I'm going to take this dark brown, which is one of my favorite eyeshadows. And I'm taking this Essence of Beauty kind of crease brush. And I'm going to go and just swirl it in there so you get the point. And then tap it off. Make sure I don't have anything on my hands. Okay. And then we're going to go... Yeah. To really define that crease. And again, it's kind of up a little bit higher. What I'm going to do is take a 217 brush and blend a little bit, but not really, kind of just around the edges to soften it. take um, this brow bone color and use it as a highlight. Use it as a brow bone color. Oh. I don't usually do these recreations, but for you I will. Hello Kitty84. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna go back into this one with that silvery taupe. This is the silent treatment one. And just darken right here. We're going in with glitter because they are using like silver dust powders or silver dust eyeshadows. So, um, wait a second, we won't go in with glitter yet. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and go into that taupe and I'm gonna line the bottom lash line. And go in with glitter. So again, I'm going to take my flat shader brush that I am wiping off right now. And this is called Diamond Dust by LA Splash. I bought this at Ulta. And it's in New Diamonds. So, I haven't used this before, so let's see what kind of crazy fallout I can get. Okay. So I'm going to get some on my brush like that. But then I'm going to take the cap and really smash it into the brush. And then we'll place it down. And just dab and kind of push it into the eye. And bring it up. right here and I'm going to take a little bit and go underneath the eye so I thought I had um, one of the wet n wild cream or gel eyeliners and I don't so I'm going to use um, my Clinique black gel liner and my feline pencil by MAC but you can use any pencil and you can actually use the Wet n Wild um, gel eyeliner for this, but I'm going to stick my pencil in here, load it up, wipe off the edges, and then I'm going to go and take it a little. And go right into the waterline. And let's see if I can tight line. And I will do my upper lash line as well. Um, I think staying pretty close to the lash line. Darkening it up. I think I'm glitter. 
hairs on my nose. And I'm not winging it, I'm just connecting it to the bottom. I'm trying out something new, so I'm going to use the Double XL Pro by Maybelline. I'm going to use the primer, like the lash fibers. Put a coat of those on. You could do false eyelashes if you want. let them dry for a minute. So while those dry, I'm going to do a little bit more concealer under the eyes. So I'm using my Milani HD. Load it up. Hopefully it'll get some of that fallout. Now, it looks like she just has kind of a really pink flush. So I'm going to use my NYX Blush Welcome Stick Blusher. Okay. Take my MAC 130 brush. She has really full cheeks, so we're going to just do it in kind of a circular motion. then we'll go over that with Physicians Formula. This is the Happiness Booster, Happy Booster Blushes, whatever. Um, let's take it with the 109 brush. I'm just going to swirl it, see what comes out. blush does make me happy. So while that's drying, I'm going to go, she has very peachy lips, peachy pinkish, so I'm going to use um, the Wet n Wild Glassy Gloss, um, this is in color, this too shall glass. I'm going to use that, but first I'm going to take some concealer and just wet out my lips basically. on my finger. It's not as pigmented as I'd like, but it'll do. This just looks like a frosty nude color. Mm -hmm. So, mascara. Drugstore mascara. Okay. Red Blonde Fabby Lash. It's on clearance at CVS right now for $2.12. Just saying. Just saying. See, I don't know how I feel about these lash fibers here. I think you can get the same effect if you just load up on mascara. Let's put a couple extra coats on. 
suppose if it was my wedding day, I would be wearing a waterproof mascara, but I don't wear a waterproof mascara, so I don't own any. For the record, I did go to the Urban Decay counter and swatch the um, shadows that they used, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they don't have as much fallout as some of the Urban Decay glitter shadows. Oh, I have like doll eyelashes today. Okay. And then, <coughs> let's see, I would do brow towel. I have an okay. idea. So, um, I found a lip gloss that is by NYC. It's a liquid lip shine, and this is some peachy color that I can't figure out what it is. Brighton Beach Peach. So, her lips look a little bit pinker, but I don't have a lot of gloss from the drugstore, so we're going to just add this over, give it a little more color. Hmm, it smells like honey candy. So that gives you a little more color. Okay, doesn't really look like she has a highlighter on. So, um, yeah, this is the finished product. Anyways, I hope you like this looked off faces and I will see you soon. Bye. Keep those requests coming.